Engineering has not really changed in hundreds, maybe thousands of years. Mm. So if you think about it, you know, a, a Roman engineer sat down and drew an aqueduct on a, on a piece of paper and then walked over to the guy who needs to build it and they looked at the paper and said, okay, you know, I'm going to build you an aqueduct. And this is how we still build and engineer things today. So we, we basically draw things. I mean, back then they used pen and paper or whatever, charcoal or whatever they had, right? Yeah. Today you use a computer, but you still draw things. And there's this genius engineer who visually crafts something on screen. And it's all in their heads and they draw all these things and then they have a 3D model and then you know somebody else needs to build it. Yeah. And I ask myself, you know, can we not do this with software? Can we not transcribe the knowledge of the engineers into computational models, into AI. And so what I'm doing now with my partner, Josephine, is we're building computational engineering models that basically transcribe the knowledge of engineers into software. And then the software can build extremely complex objects. So we are, we are going one step beyond what was hyperganic. You know, the previous company that I did eight years for eight years. And now we are applying that technology to build amazing things and we work in electric mobility and in spacecraft and lots of things but we are two to a two-person team so it's really funny because my last company had 80 people and now we are it's just me and my partner in life and business doing this together but we are um, we're having so much fun